going on everybody welcome back to another video here at the ranch today it is finally drying up on the ranch it's not really drying it just hasn't rained today that much but as you guys can see in the overcast it is very still blooded out and it's just a pain in the butt capybaras are still out check a look they're right there i don't know if you guys can see them right there you guys see the capybaras one and two they're right there chilling i'm literally putting hay as enrichment but for the goats up hot up top because there is just too much, the floor is too wet. They don't want to be on the water. They want to be on the floor, as you guys saw in the recent videos. If you haven't seen the recent videos, make sure you guys go check them out. But I've noticed the tortoises are trying to swim. And this is definitely not a good idea. Um, yeah, the tortoises don't know how deep the water is. I'm going to have to make sure all of these guys get pushed back that way. Because literally two seconds ago, the tortoise was in the water and... It was like drowning. It was way too deep for him, and I need to get him back out. That's why the water's all murky and stuff. So, um, yeah, dude's over here staying dry, but everybody else, it's just a pain in the butt, you guys. I don't, I don't understand. But you know, it's mother nature. You gotta deal with them, and you just gotta fix it. You gotta fix, fix it, and just work with her and do those kind of things. Oh, that's a cute little bird. Little guy. But there's always a sunnier day afterwards you guys are looking for more grass but there's really no grass it's all completely mowed down i'm gonna have to uh make sure i block that area off right there so that the sulcata stay that way so tonight that's definitely going to be the goal to make sure these guys walk back hopefully they do walk back and we don't have a situation i'm gonna keep an eye on them i literally like i'm, I'm telling you two seconds ago a tortoise was just swimming i had to go in there my shoes are literally sitting right there and this big old sulcata was in the water like drowning because obviously they're African spurtized and they cannot swim. But um, other than that, it is starting to dry up. As you can see, I made a bunch of little platforms. It looks disgusting. I mean, there's nothing I could do at all. Let's take a look. Take a look, take a look. I mean, it's just nasty. It's starting to dry up here, see? If my goats don't have shoes on, I'm not gonna have shoes on. So my feet are gonna be dirty. They look disgusting, but you know, it's okay. I have these bridges here for them so they can walk across and then see they're on containers and stuff so they can kind of stay dry and things of that. Captain. <laughs> As you guys know, Captain, we moved him, but he just uh, thinks that he has to stay over here because of the girls. It is disgusting, you guys. It is absolutely disgusting. I mean, it is mucky, nasty. It's just, ew. This is the part of nastiness of a farm like nastiness captain like what are you doing what are you doing look at this can you go back away like you're standing on one piece of platform like you're happy doing that we moved him three times and he won't leave the girls alone so he just sits there he has no dry areas he has that one little strip and that right there there's nothing else we could do we moved him back to the dry areas and he wants to stay there he's just a clown Hey, football, you're staying dry? I know. I know, football. Okay, okay, okay. I know, look at this nasty, bro. Disgusting. But um, nothing we could do. We just gotta let it dry out. See, the water is getting a little lower there. It smells horrific, but, you know, we just gotta keep on waiting. Nice and dry this way. Getting better that way. Turkeys are looking better. Everybody's looking a little bit better. It's drying up, so that's good. Got goats up top eating hay. Hey, Kathy. Hey, girl. You okay, girl? Hey, big guy. Okay, big guy. You good boy? Take a look of this. Look at her up there. They just stay. That's the one good thing about these wood spools. They could go on top of that. They can stay a little dry. And they can just hang out. Vulture guinea fowl looking great. Looking amazing. Hanging out right here. Hey, guys. This guy is still for sale, so if you're interested in him in South Florida, hit me up. Gorgeous little stud donkey boy. And my girl, Captain Lena, will never leave me. She always stays here. But yeah, everything else is just a pain in the butt. Willie likes the water. Now that's a goat right there. Fluffy's cage. Completely flooded. No way he could come back inside of here right now. 
way too much water he will not like this at all destroyed we have to weigh into it dries down cleans out we could do it again really you're gonna get bit by a turtle you better not go any farther because it's uh yeah don't know what you think you're doing swamp pig I really don't see any turtles. I don't know where they're at. But they're somewhere out there. We'll find them. Really time to help. Still a lot of water though. It's been about five days now. And uh, yeah, still doing it. Still doing it. Just showing you guys what's going on out here. All right, so I'll keep you guys updated while the night goes down. Let's see if any of the water gets any lower than it is right now. Hopefully it does, but uh, we will see. And we'll keep you guys updated on what we decide to do with these tortoises in a little bit. All right, so the tortoises are moving right now. And they figured out that they can walk out of the water area. And uh, one of my neighbors just dropped off a tortoise in my front yard, literally in my front yard. So uh, we have to go at it. Look at this. Literally a sulcata. Right here. And that's a big female. So that's not a good sign. We have to go and catch all the sulcatas, catch them all up. There is 10 total. And this is going to be a challenge because they are large adult sulcata tortoises. Um, yeah, so we got to do it. Put them all back because all the pieces of plywood, everything floated up and everything moved. So that's the situation. So... Let's get onto the roll, get onto the ball, and let's start moving these guys and getting them to place. So let's do it. And there's another female. They are just moving around everywhere right now. So we're going to have to pick this. And the mosquitoes are so bad, you guys. Look at the mosquitoes right now from all the flood. Oh, my God. The mosquitoes are bad. All right, let's lift this big girl up and put her onto the golf cart. I know, big boy. I know, big boy. All right, big old giant female. Look at him. Ugh. Put her right there. And put her down. The best way. Go grab another girl. So like I was saying, we have 10 girls we have to pick up and we got to find them all. So let's keep on moving. Wow. All right, let's do a count real quick. Let's do a count on how many tortoises we have in here right now. Mosquitoes are horrible. My God, we got one, two, three, four right there. That's four. We got five, so we got five right here, so that's good. We got five complete tortoises right now. Five. Hey, boys. All right, so we got five, six, seven, eight right there. All right, hold on, hold on. Okay, we got eight. See if anybody's in here. Anybody home? Eight. Oh, we got nine right there. It is a mud show in here. We got nine. Missing one left. All right. Let's go find this big guy. Water's still here. Everybody thought that the flooding is gone. It is not. Woo. Mud is bad. So we got to block off this whole entire area right here. So they all stay onto that side. And yeah, let's do it. Let's see where it is. I know who I'm missing too. I'm missing one more tortoise. His name is Smiley. It's a big giant African spur thigh. The reason how they're getting out is right there. You guys saw in the recent video. They had that piece of wood that's normally down here. But the piece of wood completely floated up. So they completely swam across. Look how deep it is. Up to my knee. Swam across and went that way. Up. Oh, there he is. All the way over there into the swamp. So let's go pick this guy up. Water's still here. It's a pain in the butt. So everybody's like oh do this oh do that don't start other projects because you're doing this you're doing that uh unfortunately can't do anything back here right now because there's so much water 
So we have to wait until the water goes down and that's dry scene. That's the reason why we haven't started the aviary yet either because there's so much water. So what I have decided and what we did, this barn has been here now for about 10 years. And back in the day, we didn't know anything about farm stuff. Now I've learned a lot. And the situation is, is this piece of slab is very, very, very low where the barn is sitting. So hopefully what I'm going to be able to do this year is what I have to do is the grass that you see up there where that metal sheet is at, I have to get a line and grade the dirt from that level all the way down to about that log. And then from that log on, I'm going to dig down and pull that dirt up and get more fill and fill it up all over here. But the situation is if I fill it up all around the barn and I don't raise up the barn, the barn will be a big bowl of water. So what I need to do is actually unattach the overhang of the barn and unattach the barn from the slab, as you can see right there. See right there? It's connected to the slab. So by doing that, if you ever seen a truck go on a lift, I'm going to be lifting the whole entire barn. This barn actually came from upstate New York on a trailer. And yeah, this thing came on a trailer and actually got dropped off with forklifts and wheels. So it's possible to move it again. So I'm going to have to unattach the whole entire thing lift the thing up probably about 10 inches move all the animals it's going to be a process and a half i might be picking some volunteers here who knows because i'm going to need a lot of help with this and while we lift this bad boy up then we're going to have to put another about i don't know eight to ten inches of concrete on top of that slab and then sit the barn back on top so that we could grade all the dirt all the way back down without having any issues so that the barn does not flood. Because if you guys were watching all my recent flood videos in the last couple weeks, we put our fingers on this piece of slab like this, and the water came up to the top of my palm right there. And that was an extra, I could say, eight inches or so. So we need to go double that. It is low over here. It's completely drying down now, but it is a pain in the butt. Look at this tortoise. This tortoise is completely in the mud over here. There's fish everywhere. It is a pain in the butt. It's so swampy. It's so nasty. It is disgusting. But there's nothing I could do right now because of the water. There's no way you're going to work with mud. This turtle has to get picked up. They cannot be sitting in the water like this. They got moved over. I didn't think they would walk in the water, and they did. So there's this big guy, Smiley, is going to have to get picked up. And, like, that is disgusting. Look at that. Ready? Watch this foot. That's because the cow walking through here pushing it all down and he's just slurping all around so i'm gonna have to pick this bad boy up move him move this guy this probably 80 pound african spur thigh male all the way down there and then block him off so he can't come back this way that is going to be a mission so what i'm probably going to do is put the camera down somewhere because my god look over here it's so flooded so this area will be completely done and finished up first before we do anything over here. Type of bears over there. It is a crap show over here. I mean, it is insane. But yeah, this is what I've been dealing with. On top of, you guys saw the recent video over there, working down there on the other side of the ranch. I know this has been like 10 minutes of talking here, but this is what's going on. So let's pick this bad boy up and hike him across all the way down there. So I'm going to go put the camera down over there so I don't get it wet. And... uh yeah let's do it so i'm gonna let that run right there and i am just going to uh show you the processes of moving giant tortoises and that is with my arms and uh legs and chest this female is massive this is one of the females if you guys remember this is one of the females that um was sick and we brought her back to life and it was perfect she is doing outstanding now and egg laying season is coming soon so um stay tuned for that too that's gonna be dope but um Girl's heavy. And let's pick her up. Okay, one, two, three. Ugh. All right. You got that big girl over there. Let's divide this off again.
So with just that piece of wood, a two by 12 piece of wood, these sukatas actually do not get over it without a doubt. Don't know why. I mean, other tortoises definitely would, but they do have a very large area over there. They still have a little bit of grass, but they're not gonna be grazing anymore over here. It's way too muddy. The grass is too much. I'm gonna have to dewarm them. They're probably gonna get worms because of all this water and everything. So they definitely need to get worms. So dewarm the panicker. And uh, yeah, if you guys wanted to know this, it's one cc for every four pounds. There's gonna be a lot of cc's for these guys because they are massive, massive so-called tortoises. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get the other piece of wood that's right over here. That's sitting right there. Can you guys see that? Right there, that piece of wood. And we're gonna put it over here, close it all off so it's all done. Still have to go get Smiley. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna turn off this camera for a couple minutes, fix it all up and show you the done process. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I really didn't enjoy it. It was actually really tiring, but it's the part of the ranch life, collecting all the animals, putting them back into their enclosure because I was being nice to them. I was letting them graze. And then it started raining, as you guys know, the last week like crazy. And I didn't think the tortoises would walk all the way over there, but they did. But like this video, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for all the new builds that are coming very... I swear it gets louder when I talk. Subscribe to the channel, put those post notifications on, like this video, and stay tuned for all the new builds that will be coming here on the ranch. A lot of crazy things coming along, a lot of things that have to get done, and it's an ongoing process, and there's always content for you all through the lens. See you guys later, and have a good day. Peace out, everyone.